Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the Mannheim More Than a Minute newsroom. Today is Tuesday, December 22nd, 2020. It is a day A, and your specials today are phys ed and library. Before we move on, I forgot to introduce our co-host yesterday. I wonder if anybody knew who it was. Any ideas? If you said Miss Poland, you're right. Mrs. Bowers is out of the office today, so Mrs. Ms. Poland has been helping out here. Thank goodness. Here we go. What day is it? National Cookie Exchange Day. Oh, I see my favorite cookie in that picture already. December 22nd is National Cookie Exchange Day and the glorious occasion when festively decorated cookie tins and boxes appear at cookie exchange parties. It's a classic celebration where the host throws a holiday party for family and friends to which everyone brings delicious homemade cookies to share around. The toughest decision is which cookies to take. Wintertime classics like thumbprint jam cookies or gingerbread are always festive, but since this day celebrates all cookies, go ahead and add in some fun Fetty cookies or lemon squares. I really enjoy the kind, if you see on this picture underneath the gingerbread cookies, where it's like a little peanut butter cookie with a Hershey's Kiss on the top. Those are pretty delicious. What about you, Mrs. Pyatt? Well, my brother-in-law makes really delicious ginger snap cookies that he dips in vanilla chocolate. I mm. love those. And they're peanut free. Oh, yes. Love it. What is your favorite cookie? We have two more days to discuss generosity, the core value of the month. Have you ever heard of the idea of paying it forward? That's the idea that when someone does something kind for you, you in turn do a kind gesture for somebody else. For example, if someone smiles at you and tells you to have a good day, you can turn around and later that day you can hold the door open for a teacher that might have their hands full. This kind of behavior is contagious. Let's keep this trend going. Let's start a chain reaction and give away kindness today in your homes at every turn. Mrs. Pyatt, do you want to know an example that happened to me one time? I sure do. One time I was in line at Dunkin' Donuts and when I went to pay for my coffee, I got to the window and they said, the car in front of you already paid for your coffee. Boy, how did that make you feel? Oh my gosh, it just made my heart feel so full. And so I paid for the car behind me. Boy, that is generosity at its best. I love st stories like that. Oh, it's our last day for our special holiday messages. I can't wait to see who we have today. Hi, everybody. It's Dr. Kelly. And it's Mr. Mummer here. And we wanted to spend a couple minutes talking to you about some of our favorite Christmas traditions. One of my favorite Christmas traditions is waking up in the morning and watching my girls walk down the steps ready to look at their Christmas trees. Mr. Mummer, what's one of your favorite traditions? Uh, you know, one of my favorite things is when we get together in the all-purpose room here at Mannheim and we have our carol sing. I just love doing that with all the kids and hearing you guys all sing. Oh, my, that's a great one for sure. You know what? Since we can't do that this year, let's sing a couple Christmas songs together with the boys and girls at home. That's a great idea. Awesome. All right, I have some here. Let's get them started off. All right. Santa Claus is coming to town. Let's do Deck the Halls. Ooh, okay. This is fun. It's got a long introduction, so just bear okay. with us. I'm ready.
one of my favorites. Yeah. Could we do Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer? Oh, we can do that. I have it right here. Yes. Yes. All right. All right. Let's get it going. All right, boys and girls, get ready to sing with us. Pretty quick. It's time, boys and girls, to remember what our star expectations are. Strive to do your best. Take responsibility for your actions. Always be safe and respect people and property. Anheim, make today an awesome day.